Hello, so I've been wearing the Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush um, a few times now since I bought it, and I'll be doing a review on it today. So I got this um, package at a CVS, which is a drugstore. Um, I know it's on the East Coast. You can find it at a Walgreens, I'm sure. I've seen it at a Walmart. And yeah, so the price is a lot cheaper than a MAC blush. MAC blushes are like $17.50, the cream and the powder. And this one I believe was $5.47 American at a Walmart that I've seen. And I believe I got it, I got it for half off at CVS. So it cost about $7 maybe. I think it was $7 at CVS. So, you know, things at Walmart tend to be cheaper than at the drugstore for cosmetics. Don't quote me on that though. Um, I got the mousse blush in the color called Peach Satin. Um, I've been recommended by some users um, where I introduced this blush in my haul to the color called Soft Plum, I believe. And I kind of like purples or purpley blushes for my skin tone. I'm NC35, so they tend to look really nice. And I actually thought that Peach Satin would be too light to show up on my cheeks, but this is probably the lightest that I could go before, you know, I start to not being able to see it. So when you open the package, if you look really closely, you can see that there's little, like, air pockets, kind of like little holes in the blush. Um, that's because, I guess, they whip it, kind of, to make it like a mousse. And um, the consistency is really fluffy. Um, but first, if we just talk about the package that it comes in, this really, really reminds me of a MAC Paint Pot. If you look at this glass part. Um, the, the bottom is a little bigger and thicker, but it's pretty much in the same style. I think this is really cute. It's easy to unscrew and open and get at. I put my whole finger, I have fingernails and it doesn't seem to, you know, get in the way or anything. So, um, this is a lot easier to get on your finger than the MAC blush cream. Sorry, I'm kind of laying down. You can see my feet. Ah -ha -ha. Um, so if you just kind of like tap your finger in there, you'll get some on the surface. I mean, you'll do it for, I mean, that'll happen with the MAC too, but um, you don't have to like pull it. You just kind of, I don't know, maybe you don't have to pull it for the MAC either, but it's really light anyway. So a little goes a long way, and if you see that I just like put a glob on there, if you just take it and smooth it, it's very, very silky. That's what I would call it, and there's no... Um, pulling or tugging of the skin as you apply. You just put it there, right there. It's very, very silky. And this is probably the best quality um, about this mousse, um, is that it's so light, it's so fluffy, and it's so it's easy to apply. Um, so if you're very sick of a MAC blush cream and how if you just take a dab and you put it on, you have to kind of like, like you can see my, my skin is kind of like going back and forth on my hand. If you don't like that, and, and because it's kind of like thicker, you have to kind of pull it harder on the edges to blend it out. If you don't like that quality, then I would go ahead and try the Maybelline Mousse Blushes because they're just so easy to apply and... It's as easy just going in circular motions to blend it out, which is what I thought the blush creams would, MAC blush creams would be like. Anyway, maybe you can't even tell. But, these have like little scent. I, I don't even know what to call it. I mean, it doesn't have to have a scent, but um, there's like little bits of shimmer in there. And the shimmer is very subtle. It doesn't look like glitter at all. Like I said, it's subtle shimmer instead. And I set this... So I put on my foundation, then I put on some powder, and then I applied the um, blush, mousse blush, and then set that up with powder again, and it seems to stay. Now I would say that if you don't apply, not liberally, but not lightly, if you don't apply, if you apply lightly, then the blush might fade as the day goes on, but for the most part, like five hours, it'll still show. It'll still show through, and I wouldn't be afraid to kind of like pile it on a little bit more. You just like kind of add layers. It it doesn't seem to 
look too intense. Maybe it's just the shade that I'm using, but if you just keep applying it, it doesn't seem to be overpowering. This shade, I think, looks very natural. I feel like it would look natural in anyone. I think all these blushes are pretty natural tones, so I'm really interested in trying the soft plum one. Um, yeah, it just gives a little bit of shimmer. Unlike the blush cream that I happen to have, it's more, it's a matte. But this one has shimmer in it. I'm not sure if all of them have shimmer in them. But it's very fine. It's not at all offensive. You can see my, my finger is kind of shiny. Um, so, yeah. I really, really like this product. I think I'll be buying more of these, especially because they're so much cheaper um, than a MAC blush. These are... The MAC blushes are 6 grams, and this mousse blush is 5.75 grams, so they're almost the same volume, and this is um, like 5.47 at Walmart, and this is 17.50, so much, much cheaper, more than a, or a little less than a third, or about a third of the price for just about the same quantity. So I would try them. I've worn them for three days. They don't seem to break out my skin at all. Um... So if you buy any of these, please, please, please show a swatch or just show it on your face, I guess. Let me just do it one more time. Okay, maybe you can see it better. This light is, like, so useless. There's, like, a pink streak on the bottom of my hand. You see that? Right here. Yeah, so if you have any questions, um, let me know. I guess there's nothing really much I could say about this. So go try it out. It's worth a try, I think. And let me know what you think. Bye.